Alright everybody, I'm back uh, for another go here. Uh, we beat the first stage of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for the Super Nintendo with Jason. And now we'll, I guess we'll go into the second stage with, um... Let's see, who will our victim be? Let's go with uh, Trini. Why not, our little Asian chick. Now, little fun fact. Uh, few people know about this. I have to say though, the music in this game, while very cliche, is sort of catchy. Now, in the first episode, we um, I showed you a few things that you can do in this game. None of it is particularly exciting or anything. So, I guess now I'll just start talking a little bit about my love for the uh, Power Rangers series as a kid. Um, I watched it every Saturday morning. It was just kind of my routine. And I was, I was a huge Power Rangers nut. Um, you can only hit those from standing still, I think. It doesn't matter. We'll get our health refill anyway, so... Taking a few hits here and there is no big deal. Now, Trini, um, she's probably the worst character to play with because she attacks really slowly. She also walks very slow, so... And even as a ranger, she has the worst attacks out of anyone, so it's probably best to get her out of the way quickly. But anyway, we're here to glorify bad video games, so uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Now, a little fun fact about the Power Rangers. Um... I'm guessing some of you will at least be familiar with the general idea of the Power Rangers. Um, it's, it was actually a very cheaply made show. I mean, most of you will know this. I'm sorry if I'm sucking right now, it's because I'm kind of trying to tell a story here. But uh, in Japan, there was a series... Um, basically, it's not. it wasn't called Power Rangers. I think every series had a different name. But it followed the same exact same kind of setup. Uh, meaning there's five Rangers. Uh, they have a leader, usually the red one. And every season kind of builds upon previous seasons, introduces new rangers, new enemies. And actually, the American version of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was based pretty much entirely on the Japanese version. To the point where all of the robot fights with the dinosaurs and all the robots, that was just Japanese stock footage. Uh, none of it was original, none of it was made in America, it was just basically copy-pasting from the Japanese version. In fact, there's videos out there on YouTube that actually uh, compare the two versions side by side. And they actually cut a few fights out of the... Um, in the English version, they cut some of the Japanese fights out of it. Uh, in the Rangers, I mean. And one interesting thing is that um, in the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series, uh, Kimberly, the Pink Ranger, was the only one wearing a skirt when she was in Ranger form. And there's a reason for that, because um, while in the American version they cast Trini as uh, the girl, Yellow Ranger, because they felt like there was a kind of an imbalance in genders. Um, in the Japanese version, there was only one girl, and she was the Pink Ranger. The Yellow Ranger was actually a guy. And if you notice, um, if you watch the Power Rangers series, and you're paying attention to the uh, Ranger fights, then you'll notice that the Yellow Ranger uh, doesn't wear a skirt, and actually also has a really flat chest, and that's because they're using the Japanese stock footage, and the Yellow Ranger in the Japanese version was a dude. And it'll kind of reflect, I mean, watch Trini transform with the uh, Sabertooth Tiger Coin. All of a sudden she'll gain like huge bulk and <laughs> completely flat chested. It's because the Ranger model for every single Ranger is exactly the same. There's literally nothing unique about the Rangers. Um, they have different weapons, but they basically attack in the exact same way. Uh, their bomb looks different, I'll show that off later. But yeah, th you know, there's... There's just nothing original about the Rangers in their various forms. They all attack the exact same way. But I guess it, it's just there for flavor, you know? They, she at least uses the the weapons, the daggers that she has. Although, actually, they're Psy, and... I don't know that much about martial arts, but I have... I have somewhat of a keen interest in martial arts, and I know that Psy are not used in the way that she uses them. Psy are actually uh, usually very defensive weapons uh, used to block sword attacks. And the way that she's using them, she's just basically hacking and hammering away, like... Like they're clubs, basically, but... Oh well, this is a, a video game, so let's go for some artistic license here. Now, uh, every stage will introduce some new mechanics. Um, and I guess they kind of tried to make this game more complicated than it needed to be. Now, this stage will introduce things like conveyor belts, um, different types of enemies besides the putties. We'll run into them... A little while later. Actually, we also saw them just now, but they weren't that obvious. And from here, shit will start flying down at us. No big deal. You can just easily avoid those. What are they? Burning pipes? I didn't think steel burned that easily, but 
Oh well. Let's just whack these dead. Actually, um, one thing that I like about the Power Rangers series, uh, the old ones, anyway, was th the sheer silliness. Like, everything was completely implausible. Like, just the intro of the show, uh, if I remember correctly, is, um, when the Rita the Witch, she does the whole spiel about, um, having been stuck, sealed away for 10,000 years and she's free. And she wants to conquer Earth. And then there's that magical guy Zordon and his assistant Alpha. And essentially, what they're saying is, uh, I think it's Alpha, Rita's escaped. Recruit a team of teenagers with attitudes. And, you know, to me that never made much sense. I mean, why... Okay, that's a different enemy. Dead in one hit. Why would you want to recruit a team of teenagers with attitudes? I mean, okay, I'll buy the needing teenagers because that's just the the target age group, but... Um, okay, there's a bomb in here, I think. So I'll just show you hers. The saber-toothed tiger with electric cheap effects. But, you know, it's, it's cool, I guess. Also, they can kind of do a little flippity-jump things. None of it is particularly useful, but... But yeah, they, they wanted a team of teenagers with attitudes. Uh, I, I never really understood why the attitude was necessary. But well, it was a, it was a fun kid show, uh, despite the fact that it used just Japanese stock footage. I never noticed as a kid, you know. I, I thought it was all original. But it's it's funny if you if you look at if you look at it. it. It makes more sense coming from the Japanese because all of the fighting poses that they strike in before every battle that's very Japanesey. And again, sorry for getting hit so much there, but like I'm kind of getting caught up in my story, I'm forgetting to concentrate. I'm just doing this live. I'm just doing this on a whim. You know, I'm just doing this now because otherwise I'll just forget that this game even exists. And it's fun to play every once in a while, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to beat it in under an hour. Let's see, I'll go stand here because otherwise I can't reach it. Because you do have to kill that little robot thing there. Because it counts as an enemy, and if you don't kill it, then... Well, I don't think you'd have to kill that one, but I'll just do it anyway. I'll just kill everything we encounter. No, I don't think I can make that one, no. I have to wait for that platform to come back. No, platform, come back! Now, basically, um... Every stage follows the same formula, you know, there's some generic enemies, and then at the end of the stage you have to fight the boss. It's really, really nothing special. But my god, is it fun. A guilty pleasure, like I said before. And I, I'm guessing the Power Rangers was a guilty pleasure of mine as well. I mean, it was very cheesy, but it was just cool, you know, they had the whole... You know, the really cool intro. Uh, which, you know, you can't deny is very catchy. I mean, even nowadays, even people who didn't watch the Power Rangers know the Power Rangers intro. And they know how silly it is. And, you know, not a single show after the Power Rangers was quite as successful. I mean, there was that cheap knockoff, the VR Troopers, uh, which was really a horrible show. I never really got into that. So, you know, in my opinion, the Power Rangers did everything right. Anyway, boss time! I've completely forget what this ogre troll thing uh, was. I think he had a name, but uh, basically he'll start transporting between these platforms, and whenever he appears, you can kind of get a few cheap hits in. Uh, it's not really worth jumping after him, though you can try if, you, if you're so inclined. Generally speaking, you won't have very much range, if, particularly if you're playing as Trini. Uh, she, ha she has the least range out of all the Power Rangers, so she's generally, I guess you could say, she's the hardest to use. Now, I'm going to wait a little bit before using the bomb. I tend to do that with most bosses. Uh, most bosses have, like, phases, and I like waiting until they're going into their more difficult phase, so to speak. Or less easy phase, anyway. I keep doing the overhead attack. I should stop doing that. It, it won't allow me to attack him anymore. Anyway, pretty soon, yeah, he'll start doing that little thing. And he'll start teleporting right in front of you or right behind you. And he'll just use attacks. Most of them will miss... Every once in a while he'll hit you. It's very annoying actually here to get a hit on him because if he doesn't spawn where you are, then it's pretty much impossible to hit him, so. This run this one really pisses me off. It's just so annoying. Stand still, you wimp. There, got a hit in. That's that was a single hit. Let's see if I can do that again. Okay, cool, combo. Now! What? 
How did he dodge that? I, I had him there. That was cheap. He materialized and I couldn't hit him. That was a waste of a bomb. I think he'll try to appear behind you, but... Because of his teleporting shenanigans, this is kind of the hardest boss in the game. Which <laughs> which doesn't say... isn't It's not saying much. He's just so annoying. Come on, stop. Stop teleporting. You know, let me just let me hit you for fuck's sake. I don't have all night. It's past midnight and I need my beauty sleep. Actually, I don't need my beauty sleep, but... I'm still wide awake. I'm full of energy. Oh, come on. I don't want to have to speed things up here just because... He doesn't want to give in. Yes. Dead. Killed. Die. You bastard bitch face. Good. Um, yeah, and every time you beat a boss, the Power Rangers do like a little flippity flip. And you get a password, which will allow you to get to the next stage. You know, because, um, the Super Nintendo games didn't really have decent save batteries like SRAM. So some games, especially the early ones, just needed passwords. But now that we beat stage two, it's time for me to end off the episode. And I'll see you in the next one where we'll, um, use another ranger. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.